We knew Nismo was coming for the new Z, and we had spy shots, but now it's official. Over at the Nissan official US newsroom track preview, new Nismo Z teased ahead of its launch. So the most exciting thing is, is that the Nissan Z is going to be getting the Nismo later this summer. And that's, I mean, that's probably the announcement. Availability is something altogether. Remember how long it took them to go from Proto Z to available at the dealership Z? Was that like two years? It took a long time. So hopefully it won't be nearly as long for the Nismo to be announced until actual availability. Three-time Formula Drift champion Chris Forsberg puts the Z Nismo through its paces. Okay, later details in, in coming this summer. We'll talk about transmission. Is it going to have the manual or the nine speed auto? And I think we have our answer. But first, let's go into the Recaro seats here. They look amazing with the red and black. The new front bumper looks awesome because it's no longer just a rectangle, it looks more sculpted. It looks a little bit like the new GR86. And I think that's a good thing. I think it'll look a lot better. Here's the better look at the front end, I guess, of the whole picture. And yeah, it's it's more sculpted. It looks way better than the, the rectangle. Of course, we have plenty of red trimmings at the bottom of the vehicle all the way around that needs them on the front and rear bumper. The exhaust looks the same. The rear bumper doesn't look that much different. The spoiler is different. It wraps around a little bit more. The current uh, duckbill spoiler just ends on the trunk lid. But I have a couple images here that are going to pretty much rule out possibly the manual transmission for the Nismo. I don't want that to be true, but this looks like a two pedal setup here. And when he hits the gas, his foot goes down. Nothing is happening uh, with his left foot here. And check this out. You know, you might be thinking, okay, he's just, you know, he's in second gear. He's turning. Well, his hand isn't on the shifter and check this out. This is the automatic shifter knob. It has a P here for park at the very top of it. So I think it's guaranteed at this point that the Nismo Z will not have a manual transmission that will no doubt help it be faster around the track. And that's what this vehicle needs to be. It needs to be faster in every single way than the Supra. I think that is its goalpost. That's its target. That's what it needs to take down, but it will cost more as a result. No doubt. If the current Z is around $50,000 in the performance trim, what's this going to be 60, assuming you can get it for MSRP. Cause let's go to sales real quick. Let's head on over to their uh, year to date so far in terms of the Z sales. They've only sold 466. Now that was the first quarter. So the second quarter here is ending at the end of this month. So maybe we get up to a thousand units total. That's just for the first half of the year. So let's just say extrapolate a bit. They're able to sell 2000 units for 2023. If we go to car figures here, that's not even to the volume back in 2019 pre pandemic of what they were selling for the 370 Z. And if you go all the way back to the 350 Z era at its peak in 2005, they're selling 27,000. So it's about 10% of what we should be getting for the new Z in terms of volume. We're just nowhere near the three, four, five, seven thousand volume that this vehicle deserves. And then the Z Nismo is going to be very, very difficult to get. The current Z has 400 horsepower and 370 pound feet of torque. What kind of bonuses will we see? I mean, so will Nissan take the crown for performance over the Supra with this Nismo? I would say there's a good chance. I think that's probably the benchmark. I think the Z currently is just a little bit below the the uh, the super in terms of 
wheel horsepower, wheel torque, overall nimbleness, and just overall performance. And I think the Z's performance will be leapfrogging the upcoming Supra with the Nismo grade. So I'll see you guys down below. Do you think they'll be able to beat the Supra around a track? It depends on the track probably with this Nismo grade. I'll see you guys battle it out down below. If you are excited for the Nismo Z, smash a like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.